Hi, my name is Luke Vesna. I'm VP Product Marketing and Product Management here at Canaxis. We're very excited about our Spring 2011 release, and what item, one item in particular that I'd like to highlight is the advancement we've made with our in-memory database technology. In-memory databases have been getting a lot of attention lately, and deservedly so. There's an increasing amount of data that we need to deal with, and the speed of business seems to be constantly increasing as well. In-memory computing lets us make very fast decisions by being able to do analysis on large data sets and getting quick answers. This is what rapid response is all about. It's about very quick decision support. In our spring 2011 release, we've been able to dramatically increase the amount of data that rapid response can store in memory. We've been able to do this without impacting performance. So what does this mean for you? What can you do with this advancement? Well, for one, it gives you peace of mind that you're not going to run into a memory ceiling. You can continue to deploy the system to more users, add more sites, add more product lines without having to worry about maxing out. There's plenty of room now for more data. There's more room now for cached analytics and for the application to, to continue working. It also means that you can bring in new kinds of data, perhaps that you hadn't considered before. Uh, for the SNOP process, many of our customers want to do a statistical forecast, and so that means importing several years of historical data with which the statistical forecast is built. There's plenty of room now for that. You might also bring in other kinds of data, for example, financial information, and deploy a rapid response to the operational finance team so that they can do what-if analysis on their data. Previous to this release, rapid response could only support 128 gigabytes of memory. Now the system can support several terabytes, and we've done this without sacrificing performance or speed. But rapid response isn't just fast because it's in memory. Rapid response is fast because it's been designed from the ground up to be able to calculate complex analytics quickly. For example, an MRP calculation. So now with this enhancement, combine the, the speed, the innate speed of the engine and the large amount of data that you can now store, and you have a very powerful application. Something that we hope to ship next year is the ability to seamlessly move data from disk to memory. The application would be able to then store almost an infinite amount of data and only bring into memory what it needs based on the queries and reports that the users are running. So there you have it. Rapid Response now supports an order of magnitude more memory. And we continue to invest to make sure that we're at the forefront of database technology. We'd love to hear from you, hear your comments. Thank you, and enjoy this release.